So hello YouTube, my name is VladFarva.com and this will be a video on how to open and uh, fan error, fin error, whatever, fan error and replace uh, the fan of this uh, ThinkPad, this Lenovo. These are notorious because they have a lot of screws and they are all of the different size and well, what not. Now this is a serial which I need to uh, hide, obviously. And how am I going to hide the serial number? Be right back. The best tape in the world. Crap tape. Seriously, this is how it's pronounced in Croatian. I don't know whether it's crap in English, but... Well, this one definitely is, because I can see through it. Okay, seriously. Well, okay. Wrong screwdriver. This one will do the trick. Ooh. Okie dokie, now bear in mind that screws on this laptop, there are three in here, uh, they're all uh, of the um, different size, so you should probably position them somewhere that you can distinct them one from another. So there are three short ones, a long one, longer one. Also one one can unlock and remove the drive. This is always neat. You unlock it and push it outwards. Now a few more screws. As you can see this one is quite longer. So and this one is so shorter than Longer than the first one, but shorter than the second one. So you should probably mind where you put the screws. Okay, sorry if you hear me making sounds. Okay. So as it seems, the middle ones are long. So as you can see, this one is ah, third size. And the fourth one, this is the uh, hard drive, in my case it is an SSD. And yet another screw of a different size, and we'll just pull this, okay. And let's see if there are any screws left, so one, two, three, four screws, okay. This is one. Which I will be placing here. This is two, which I will be placing here. This one is the third one. And the fourth one. Okay. So, just to show you the organization of my screws, basically, this is the uh, entire laptop. Now there are probably, as you can see, there are screws underneath this part. Sorry. And there is, so somebody forgot to screw this one in, but there is one in here. Ah. So I'll be placing this one on top of everything. Now let's open this thing and see what's next. Okay. So you push the keyboard up and you actually can remove this thing. Well, you can just push, pull it upwards. Now, as you can see, this is uh, not that easy to remove so let's see if there is some screw on the bottom there is none okay now this will be an interesting thing to do there is one one screw in here one screw in here and one screw in here and this one as well i think and maybe this one okay so these are quite short 
this is why I actually hate Lenovo's shitload of screws and all of the different size. Okay, well, let's see whether I can be opening this thing for certain. Okay, I need my pry tool. Just a second. Oh, this is a fresh one. They are insanely cheap. If you buy batteries, you actually get them. So, ah, now, since they are insanely cheap, you can imagine the quality of the tool. But for what I need, I believe it's okay. Also, I will remove this part and. Uh, Let's see. So basically, just to pull it a bit and I'll try to, to remove this thing. So basically, all it needed was a bit of a brute force, I suppose. Okay. And there you have it. Now, I need to disconnect this uh, part in here. Okay, now we need to disassemble and remove this speaker. And let's see what's next. I might even have to um, I might even have to uh, I will see. So now if everything goes according to my plan, the only thing left is to uh, remove remove these four screws from uh, from the CPU, and I might actually be able to uh, remove this fan. However, hmm. so yeah, is this one long enough? Oh, it is. Okay, so. This thing will be probably this stuck, okay, it is. Now, let's see whether I can actually, yes. So, there you have it. I will be replacing this thermal paste and this fan because, well, okay, yeah, why not. Let's uh, replace the fan and uh, close this thing and clean it while I'm already doing this thing, so okay, I'll probably need to uh, remove this oh, sorry <laughs> and this as well I actually have this, but I think I'm using the old one because it is actually, well it's not yeah, I'm using the old one so ah, this thing fell apart what the hell, this thing is going to the recycle bin anyway, but this actually looks quite clean. Oh. It's actually cleaner now. So, the new fan, this one is supposedly a genuine one, so... Well, it is spinning rather neatly, so... But then and again, this could be Chinese, original, original. Who knows? Okay, now after I return these two screws, okay, let's fast forward a bit. So one fast forward, one fast forward later, and uh, the new fan is in place. I've placed the new aluminum tape and aluminum, aluminum. I know, I've cleaned this, and I've placed a new thermal paste in here, so basically this should probably pop on rather easily and there you have it perfect and this thing goes oh come on Murphy's Law 101 so fast forward and four screws later we need to put back the speaker in place and we have our two screws 
to put it in here. And there we have it. Basically, that is it. I need to put this thing back and to connect this thing, otherwise you'll be swearing and cursing. Now basically, what you need to do is just to press it. Now I'm not quite sure on uh, how to, which side to use, but this one I believe it's okay. Okay, just a second. Okay. Believe it or not, that is not that easy, especially when you're when you're holding uh, a camera. So let's see. New nope. a bit up. No, nope. and there you have it. Now all I need to do is to press and hear this clicking noise everywhere. Now you need to, just a second, okay, okay, now this thing, this part in here actually goes in here like this, so, yeah, it's kind of gone inside, so that's okay. Now what I have in here are my three screws, okay. So there's one. I don't know whether you can hear this high pitch noise or not, but it is driving me insane to be honest. But I'm too lazy to turn off. It's that bloody Samsung LCD screen which makes high pitch noise whenever it's not uh, turned on. Go figure. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to connect the keyboard. Again, the procedure is basically the same. I believe that, that this keyboard might have been replaced because there are usually some rubber pads which you can press and this thing has none. Okay, alright. So, this thing probably goes in there, so you push it inside and pull it. And there you have it. Basically that is it. The only thing that's actually left is to... Well, as Slick Rick says, the only thing left for me to do is to kill her. But no, basically uh, everything else uh, is self-explanatory. You have a couple of screws that you need to put back and that is basically it. Have a good day. So I did actually no screw is missing since this one is going in here so ah, there you have it.